We have done the position of grid in the previous demo. Now, what we're going to do is to arrange the content align with the grid. The cool thing about that is we could actually define the grid positioning by creating a series of CSS rules by using all the CSS properties in brand. So let's get started with. Before I want to uh, get into the detail, I want to actually show you a very cool feature in brand. This is called hide and show. So here, under the game body, we could see there are quite a few components underneath that. Now, I could actually just hide the game title, hide game tagline, hide the settings, stats, and the game board. Now you see the art board is very clean. Afterwards, we could turn on the element one at a time, so it would be easier for us to apply the styles and the position or the content into the grid very well. So first, let's start with the game title. So let me show it. Okay, so now we have the game title called Memory. And what we will do is we first we're going to create a style rule from this element. So now you will see we will have a new property for game title. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the CSS property and then align the title with the grid. So in this case, we're going to set up the, the grid column is actually four and a row and we also want to make a line to the end okay that's all we need to do for the grid and the other thing we want to fix is the layout so we are actually going to go to the layout and the setup for the margin so we're going to actually set up this margin bottom to be minus eight okay that okay Looks like the game title memory is in good position aligned with the grid. Next, what I want to do is work on the game tagline. So I'm going to show it. And now you can see it is uh, really not in the right position yet. So we're going to actually create a style and work on the style. Again, we're going to go to the grid and set up the column to be four and the row to be two and then again the alignment will towards end and also I'm going to uh, work on the same thing the layout so uh, I'm going to work on the margin so I'm going to set up the top to be zero and bottom to be zero looks good now, next, I want to make the tagline a little bit larger. So I what I want to do is I'll go to text and change the font size to be 18 pixel. Okay, so now the tagline is readable. So we've done the game title, game tagline. Next, we're going to work on the settings. So we're going to turn on the settings, and then which contains all the um, game buttons and so on. But first, let's actually create a property for the settings. And the same thing, we're going to actually set up the setting column to be 2 and the row to be 4. Alright. We actually see the setting is actually in the pretty good uh, position and we're going to work a little bit more on the buttons so we see there are two buttons start again stop the game what i want to do is i want to actually define a button class so i could apply the style onto the buttons uh, with just all the buttons inside that class so what we could do is we create a class for these two buttons so first let me unselect everything and then I could actually just choose the two buttons I want to work with. Okay, so now I select the two buttons. I'm going to use the HTML attributes panel to actually create a new class by using the add class name button here. So the button will be called game buttons. 
Now we have created a game buttons for these two buttons. Let's go back and start more. So we can actually notice we create a style rule from element class this time. And the class we want to work with is called game buttons. Okay, very nice. Now we're going to actually still continue work on the buttons. Go back to the CSS properties. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the size of the buttons. So we want to make it 100% with the width. And the height, we want to make it 40 pixel size. OK. And we want to make the bottom margin, which is belong to the layout. to be 10 pixels. OK, let's just type 10 pixels. That okay. I think our button looks much better now. Now I'm going to actually uh, go back and adding a little bit more things into it. For example, I'm going to actually adding one more row here. So let me actually just add something like this. I'm going to actually go back to the stat and show where the stat is. We're going to apply some um, CSS onto the style. So what we want to do is we want to set up the grid column to be 2 and the row to be 5. Okay, and also we're going to work on a little more about all the time display. Okay, so let's work on that. Let's expand the stats, go to the time display. What I want to do is, I again, I'm going to actually work on the class called the values from the time display. I'm actually going to change the font size of that display. So let me go to the font size and set 40 pixels. Now the time looks more readable and everything is aligned pretty well. Next what I want to do is I actually want to do um, the game board. So let's go to our game board. Let's show it. And then again, we're going to actually uh, create a style and apply the style onto it. We're going to work on the grid. So the column will be four. And then the row will be four as well. And we want to make sure the grid row span spans for two rows. All right, looks nice. Now we have actually positioned each grid cell with the right content, align them well with a nice positioning uh, by applying the appropriate CSS properties.